hi guys welcome to short no life so in today's video born pre actually sent out a gel polish kit for me to review and here it is this is a reflective gel polish kit it comes with this pamphlet this is basically frequently asked, asked questions your instruction things like that so yeah definitely pause the video if you have well pause the video if you want to read any of that information here are the bottles and i'm gonna give you a close-up right now of the bottle and i do try to bring it in close so you guys can see the ingredients so this first color up this is a beautiful color it has a blue reflex it's like an aurora polish as well it is so gorgeous i really like it and then this next one is the same thing but purple this is my favorite i'm hands down my favorite i love purple the next thing up is a holographic color and like i said these are all reflective so next up is a dark red reflective gel polish there's two reds in this kit and this one is the darker one i feel like if you put this on top of a red that would really pop and then this next color up is a gold holographic reflect polish this next color is another red reflective polish i believe this one is just a tad bit lighter than the other one or one's light one's dark i can't really tell on the screen but they are both very beautiful if you want to check out any of these polishes there will be a link down in the description box down below that will take you directly to the website where you can check out these polishes i love them i think they're perfect for layering which is what i'm looking for personally in my nail or gel polish journey i feel like i'm kind of tired of solid colors so these colors are just perfect for what i'm looking for right now i definitely recommend them they are very unique and very beautiful so to start off i am going to base coat all of the nails that i'm going to work with and i am doing press-ons today and these are customized i went around the back of the nails where the cuticle area is i went around there and kind of shaped it toward my cuticle area so i just want to mention that my camera is swaying a little bit i did try to fix it and i thought i did fix it but i apologize if you see the little sway in the filming but i did try to fix it so right now i'm just polishing the nails this beautiful pastel purple i just did a video on their pastel collection a few months ago so i'll link it down below if you want to check it out because i feel like it's perfect for this season we're in which is spring so yeah definitely check that out as well if you want to so i am going to apply two coats of polish to all of the nails except for the ring finger on the ring finger i did one coat of that purple or lavender color and then i did one coat of this glitter glitter cover color i'm sorry i could not get that out i'm sorry but yeah i did that and i did two coats of everything else so these are some of the colors that i'm going to use and again it's from that pastel kit i will link it down below if you want to check any of those colors out i just want to say the vision of this nail was supposed to be an easter egg um it's something i've seen before i've never personally drawn an easter egg like this but i've seen it before but i didn't have a reference picture i did go on pinterest to look at easter eggs and nothing looked like what i drew so this is kind of made up and i did just want to explain the vision but i want to be quiet and let you guys enjoy me drawing this easter egg
change you uh, I'm driving down the coast, coast Homies in the back bumping loud You know, you know We ain't got no worries This my own And I don't plan on leaving There ain't nothing better than the west side That's right So I just want to pop back in the line that I did across the top of the nail and the line I'm doing now across the bottom was just like a afterthought. I thought, hey, let me throw these two lines on there. Like I said, I couldn't find a reference picture. With that being said, I do file my nails after I get done doing the set. <laughs> so I ended up filing off that bottom line so if you do press-ons and you file the nails afterwards like myself which i'm sure you probably already know this definitely make that line on the bottom thicker but i didn't want to make it too thick but it's going off the nails if you see the picture and you want to know why it's not there it's because i did file it off and i didn't fix it i just wanted to mention that but i'll let you get back into watching me draw this which i kind of feel like this is an easy thing to draw just don't load your paintbrush up and kind of take your time and that's all i want to say i'm gonna let you enjoy it if you're from the west side cali born and raised right from the town with the palm trees and good vibes you know the best vibes soaking up the sunshine and we hustle cause we trying to live a good life I'm driving down the coast, coast Homies in the back bumping loud You know, you know We ain't got no worries This my own And I don't plan on leaving There ain't nothing better than the west side That's and right like, Ooh, we, we on the map. So I am slightly off frame a little bit. I apologize about that. Um, I was just trying to see what I was doing. But as you can see, I kind of made an outline with that dotting tool. Not really, but kind of. It was a guideline for me. And then I just went in and I used a liner brush and kind of perfected all of the lines. I did do a lot of perfecting off camera. I am just not that great at drawing on camera yet, but I feel like you guys kind of see the point of where I was going, but I don't honestly feel like this looks like a rabbit. It The ears are too pointed. I did look up references pictures. I'm gonna be honest. And a lot of the bunnies had pointed ears and it didn't occur to me till watching this back that bunnies have floppy ears <laughs> so i should have made this a lot more floppy than what i did I, I really just i didn't like the ear shape but i just kept going with it i felt like they weren't floppy enough if that makes sense but yeah <laughs> that's what i did So I'm adding some pink out that same pastel kit from Born Pretty. I really just utilized two of their kits today. But um, I just want to mention that the reason why I drew the ears and then I did the bling next 
it was because I did not know where the eyes would end up. I didn't want to make them too close and then cover it with bling. So in my mind, it made more sense to stop what I was doing after I cured the bunny and then go in and put the bling and then do the eyes after the bling is there. And I do want to also mention that I have been flash carrying this entire set after each color I flash care. Um, I don't want it to move. And I feel like I should have said that earlier when I was showing you the Easter egg. I am so sorry. But yes, I flash care everything because if you don't, it could move or you could tap it accidentally. But yeah, I'm just kind of making a little bitty tiny crown for my little bunny. And then I add some caviar beads. I do a lot of the caviar beads off camera because they really did not want me to pick them up <laughs> in all honesty. And I do use a variety of rhinestones and studs <laughs> on the entire set. I don't know the name of any of the rhinestones, so I apologize about that. But to make the eyes, I just kind of drew um, a U, an open U or a half circle. And then I just feathered some lines down. I do clean up some of the eyelashes off camera. Again, it's easier for me to do some of this stuff off camera. But what I mean by I cleaned it up, like some of them were a little too long. So I just got a brush and wiped away the ones that were too long, like kind of pushed it back but I didn't take it away if that makes sense but yeah that's all I did with that I do really recommend having a cleanup brush around because this is a lot of drawing I really wanted to give my little bunny a nose and in all honesty this nose right here was perfect but I did not see that <laughs> to my mind it looked like a blobby shape if you the way I was sitting but on camera that was perfect but I was trying to do like this circular triangle it didn't work out so the bunny did not have a nose I just wanted to say that but I did have this bunny rhinestone and I really wanted to do a full bling nail with the bunny rhinestone so I put that on the nail first and then I just took a bunch of random rhinestone colors and I put them all over the nail I did get rid of that bluish greenish color it just it didn't match what I had going on I do know that I did not use any clear so if you see a clear on the nail that's not actually clear that's um moonlight I believe the name of the color is and it just has this purple shift to it so yeah I just use purple and I do want to say I'm sorry but I didn't realize I did a lot of that bling off camera I thought I was in frame I thought the camera was in court recording as well but yeah I was out of frame and the camera wasn't even recording anyway so <laughs> I apologize about that and I was going to put bling on the thumb and the pinky I thought it would be really cute however I felt like with the middle i'm sorry the pointer nail being fully blinged and then having bling on the rabbit i just felt like it may have been too much but you guys let me know would you have added more bling to those nails but i think that pointer nail pops on its own i really love that nail it's honestly my favorite so i am just top coating all of the nails and since i do have studs on this nail and caviar beads i do want to make sure i get those so they don't turn but this is how the set turned out this is the finished complete set i think it turned out really really cute i do wish i changed the shape of the bunny ears i definitely need to play around with those a little bit more but here is the set outside in the sun and it is so beautiful i really love it Thank you to Born Pretty for sending out this reflective gel polish. It is so beautiful. I just want to say thank you guys for joining me. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I make new videos twice a week. I want you guys to have an amazing day. Bye.